right now at six. Staggering new information about car thefts after recent break ins at Milwaukee area car dealerships. On average, 16 cars are stolen every day in Milwaukee this year. And recently, area dealerships have been the target, with a dozen cars stolen right off the lots just this week. Today, Chief Ed Flynn spoke for the very first time about the recent thefts and who is behind them. Jonah Kaplan is live on the city's northwest side with this story. Jonah. Charles and Shannon, the chief says that these car thefts, they're not to sell any parts at a chop shop. In fact, the suspects, many of them, they're not even old enough to get a driver's license. Chopper 4 caught this police response just after 5 a.m. Wednesday. Thieves smash their way into the Russ Darrow Honda showroom at 91st and Brown Deer. They find keys, find three cars, and ride off into the sunrise. For a subset of juvenile offenders, this is a way towards having a neighborhood reputation and having, you know, street cred. Wednesday's theft comes just two days after another group of thieves drove off with seven cars from John Amato Hyundai at 76th and Dean. Two suspects were arrested both 14 years old. It's not just a property crime. Last year, more people were killed by stolen cars than by armed robbers, all right, because they drive like crazy. MPD's District 4, covering the city's northwest side, has been hit especially hard recently. Since January 1st, crime analysts report 309 car thefts, an average of more than two per day. Throughout the city, though, the numbers are incredible. Nearly 2,200 car thefts, or 16 cars stolen every day. It's happening outside Milwaukee, too. These are pictures from an attempted robbery at a dealership in Greenfield. Attempted only because the dealership leaves dummy keys around at night. We're a small dealership, so we really can't afford to lose a car. You know, it's, it hurts us a lot more than, than the big guys. And most of the cars, the chief tells us, are found abandoned, many of them intact. The chief says the juvenile court system really needs to be tough on those arrested and convicted. We're live here on the city's northwest side. Jonah Kaplan, today's TMJ4. The numbers are alarming. All right, Jonah, thank you. The Milwaukee